Okay, good morning guys. I'm Dino's friend and he likes to know how I build cars. And I'm gonna tell you what I do. I'm a cheap bastard right off the bat. I like to build my cars the cheapest, cheapest way there is. So what I do, I usually buy a G-Body, which everybody knows might be called a Grand Prix. This happens to be oh, a 53 you know. Dino. Chevy mm -hmm. sedan delivery that I have sitting on top of an 87 Grand Prix. I bought an 87 Grand Prix for $500 with a V8 in it that ran and drove what was hitting the quarter panel. Took it here, took the body off. Bought this 53 sedan delivery, oddball car, but I didn't have one. And I said, let me just try this. So I laid it on, naturally the frame was a little too short. Took the frame, stretched it 13 inches. Okay, so now, what's the next problem? Motor's too far up. Took the motor mount, slid them back. The only problem I had, I moved the motor back about almost six inches. The only thing I had to do is cut away a little piece of the frame so I could put them, I left the mechanical fuel pump. This way the fuel pump can slide in. Um, I had to drive shaft that fit right in. So this way you already have your V8, you already have your disc brakes. I used the power booster from the G-Body. I used the brake pedals, the gas pedals. Uh, the, the Grand Prix was on the floor, so I had a Chevy Capri steering column, so I wanted it on the column with a bench seat on this one. So that's what I'm putting it on. The car looks like shit right now, but he's just here and he just likes to film me and I never got on the film yet. So anyway, I don't buy aftermarket harnesses. I take the G-Body harness. If you look at that fuse, fuse box, that's the original fuse box. Here it is up here. It comes out, I wire the whole engine up, the car starts right up, Dino just heard it run, I just disconnected the battery, so it's running and driving today. We had a, the little bullshit stuff, today's work was the modified brake pedal, it was a little bit of a bitch, I cut in a few different spots, my man Johnny who left, he welds, he likes to weld, thank god, because I fucking hate it, and we just made this gas pedal for the, the throttle pad, uh, the throttle cable longer, so we can uh, use that. Like I said, everything's 87. I even use, this is gonna be retarded to some guys, but I even use the GM computer so when I put the air condition on, the idle goes up. I have a few cars like that, and it actually works pretty nice. Look, if you look over here, you know, you see the, you see the computer. Look underneath that cow. I put the computer right back where they go, mm -hmm. underneath, and that's where it's done. I used the new gas tank from a 52 Chevy, a plastic one that I had laying around. So far, I haven't bought nothing for this car. It, I bought the car and the Grand Prix. So the gas tank, we had to cut this, it was a shame because it was rust free. It's a mess right here, but the gas tank's in. I'm just gonna modify the, the gas door is over here, I hate that. I'm gonna put it back here somewhere. I'm not putting it inside the car. So that's it now. I take it back apart, I edge it all out, and I put some bullshit paint job on it. I did this one. This is a 39 Ford sedan delivery. I put it on top of a 52 Chevy chassis. Worked out beautiful. The guy already, it was a project that was undone. He already had it set up for a small block Chevy, so that's what I put in it. I put this car together, start to finish, maybe I'm into this car for three grand, $3,500. I did buy some new stuff for this car. I had to get the door glass cut. The, wind, the guy down the street cut the windshield for me in the back window. The guy had the bumpers, I cleaned them up and used the same bumpers. I used the aftermarket 37 Ford taillights. And one fender wasn't the same on this one. I made this fender out of a 30, a 40 sedan. It's a little fat, it's a little 